still very cold. Oh, yeah. yeah, very cold. Oh, All our yes. rivers very cold. But boy, they were uh, inviting this weekend with that warm weather. It was, yeah, you know, the temperatures are up into the lower 90s. So you Ooh. sat by the river. It's, it's easy to have that temptation. But yeah, as you mentioned, good point. It's really cold water and it's moving very quickly too with all that snow melt that we've had because of that warmth. However, Things have changed when it comes to our weather pattern. We're going into a much cooler pattern that's going to slow down the amount of snow melt in the Sierra. That's actually a good thing for the time being when it comes to those river levels. But here's what's going on on first alert top of radar. We have an area of low pressure and you can see some showers here that have been rotating around an area of low pressure and that's going to provide us with more active weather tomorrow. We do have a first alert action day for tomorrow and it's mainly for the accumulating snow in this year, but also some nuisance type uh, weather in the foothills too that can cause some slick travel, including some showers and storms in the valley. So here it is on satellite radar. You can make that make out that counterclockwise circulation is going to be pushing down to the south and that will be right over us tomorrow, resulting in yet another day with some pretty chilly weather, especially for this time of year. 11 o'clock tonight, rain and snow across the higher elevations in the coastal ranges. Also, you'll see some snow starting to increase in coverage across the Sierra tonight. And then through the day tomorrow in the morning, mainly showers and snow showers. But by the afternoon, you'll see the snow pick up and coverage across the higher elevations and even some potential thunderstorms coming up across parts of the valley during the afternoon evening time frame. And we're looking at on again, off again, snow showers through Wednesday, through Thursday, through Friday, through Saturday. So this pattern's going to stay unsettled for much of this week. Here's how much snow we're looking at for the higher passes. Donner Summit, you're looking at perhaps 6 to 12 inches of snowfall between now through uh, Wednesday night. But areas like Truckee and Tahoe, you're picking up several inches of snowfall, about uh, between 4 to 8 inches of snow with that in a winter weather advisory in place tomorrow for the greater Tahoe area. What a difference, though, compared to the warmth we've had. You know, temperatures now into the 50s compared to the lower 90s last week, right? We've had a pretty steady breeze right off the deltas, helping to keep those temperatures down. Tonight, we're going to be hovering right about 50 degrees on that morning low. And then by the afternoon, back into the mid 60s with mostly cloudy skies. Again, showers, thunderstorms can't be ruled out, but don't forget River Cats are playing tomorrow and you're holding on to lower 60s. So certainly one of the cooler games you've had there for first pitch uh, in quite some time. The foothills, you're running into the lower 50s. And then for the Sierra, temperatures much cooler, lower 40s, a lot like early April type weather here in our area. And this is going to linger throughout much of this week. So here's your forecast. Again, we highlighted Tuesday for the first alert action day because of the uh, inclement weather. And don't forget, rain after a dry period does lead to slick roads. And that'll be the case area wide and then staying chill all week long for the weekend and a slight warm up by next Monday. Harley. Wow, what a difference a week makes. All right. Thank you, Nick.